so this is a cool case I wanted to present. It's still in flux. I don't actually have the pathology yet. I don't have the diagnosis back, but I have a suspicion in hindsight after surgically removing this. So this is a case of a subcutaneous nodule you can see here. You can kind of see it even without the dots, but it's outlined here just to be able to see the subcutaneous nature a little bit better. And this is a patient who I actually saw recently and excised this nodule. And you can see here, this is the scapula. And so the, the nodule is right here. It's a subscapular nodule. And during the excision, the lesion kind of looked like pulmonous. It kind of looked like fat, but also a lot of fibrous tissue. And it extended down very deep and ended up having to resect it right off of the back muscles there. And so it was a big excision. So I took a while and then removed this kind of fibrous, mixed fibrous and lipomatous tumor. And so I don't have the pathology back, but think about what it could be in terms of differential diagnosis generation. You know, when we think about a subcutaneous nodule, usually we're thinking about a lipoma if it's kind of doughy and easily movable, which is a subcutaneous collection of fat. Sometimes think about an epidermoid cyst that's usually going to be a little bit more superficial, not extending down deep into the muscle. Can extend down to the subcutis, but unlikely to do so. And then there's some other subcutaneous differentials. You know, if it's on the buttocks or thigh, you think about mutus lipomatosis, superficialis, soft fibroma, or a big skin tag can look similar. And then what I suspect to be this MD as well. So think about this. I'm going to wait on the pathology and then update it, and we'll go from there.